Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ray here back with more Mafia City content. Today I want to show you guys a couple tips and tricks when it comes to your garden and your plantation store. So go over to your garden guys and click on the garden. Every day that you log in, you want to check your garden. Don't neglect the garden. I'm going to show you guys why. So at the bottom right, you'll see the little bundle of flowers. When you go into your garden, always click that in the beginning. Collect your daily seeds. And then right above that, you'll see the visit button. If you click the visit button, you'll be able to go to other people's farms and steal 10 flowers a day from them. Uh, just in general, 10 flowers a day, not just from that person. You can only steal up to four per person. Uh, ironically, the game is trying to get me to steal from my main account. But anyways, <laughs> you'd click on go, right? Uh, it's funny timing. Um, and you would click on the flower and you would click steal a flower. You can only steal 10 a day like I was saying. I've already stolen 10 flowers today, so it's not going to let me. Once you hit your limit, it'll say you've already stolen 10 flowers. So back out of there, guys. That's basically just a quick tip on, you know, daily stuff. Collect your flowers, collect, you know, collect your free seeds, steal your flowers every day. That way you're getting as many points as possible daily. Now, next to the collect all option at the bottom right, you'll see a button that says speed up all. Eventually, once you get to higher SVIP level or VIP level, you'll be able to unlock that feature. And when you click it, you'd have an option normally if you have speed ups to speed up all the flowers and be able to collect them faster. I don't have enough speed ups, so I can't do it. Whatever. <laughs> it's a farm account, guys. Give me a break. But anyways, uh, on the bottom in the middle, it says flower warehouse. If you click that, it says garden management right there, guys. If you click garden management, there's an option here to select the flowers that you want to collect and sell directly to obtain garden points. Now, this is a feature that a lot of people don't know about, but it comes in handy. That way you're not collecting and then going and selling them individually. Uh, you can just sell them as you collect them, guys. So you would select what you want to sell and you would hit confirm. Um, you know, if you didn't want to sell your lilies for some reason, you would just not check that and you'd hit confirm and it would collect the lilies over time in your, uh, warehouse. But I do want to sell them. So I'm going to click that back. The only ones I don't sell really are like sunflowers, irises, and like anything above that quality of flower. And I'm going to show you why in a second here, guys. Uh, so anyways, guard dog on the left there. If you click guard dog, guys, you'll see below the feed button. There's something that says feed automatically that unlocks over time as well as you increase your VIP level and it'll allow you to feed your dog without having to constantly click this button every time that that percentage goes down from like, you know, 100 to zero. You want to keep it on feed automatically because if the dog runs out of food, he stops protecting your flowers and people can steal from you easier. You don't want to let them do that. Anyways, on the bottom left here, guys, the garden store. Click on the garden store. This is really what I made this video for. Um, top right, you'll see the points that you have from collecting flowers. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of points because I've been collecting for a while on this account. It's an old account. Um, below that, you'll see the store level. Store level progresses over time. Um, for some reason, it goes from level three to five to six. I don't know why they skip four. Um, you know, there's got to be a reason to it, but. I'm not going to overthink it. Anyways, uh, you'll see here that on the left where it says items, you can scroll through all the items that you could purchase daily. On the right, you'll see it says exclusive boost. This is a store that you can exchange points to activate different themes, guys. You can increase the street off speed, the gathering speed, the production, the amount that, you know, your mansion's producing. Um... And you could even increase combat stats, guys. It'll give you defense buffs in the level 3 store. And the level 5 store uh, also has more farm increases or just resource increases in general. And also gives you an attack increase in combat stats, guys. So that is why, you know, you want to collect your special flowers. Because as you can see, to increase my bulker attack plus 2, I would need 40,000 points and 120 sun sunflowers. So, you know... There's a reason for that, but definitely look into this, guys. Uh, you know, once you do have the points, go ahead and buy the stuff you want for your from your account. You know, in this case, this is my farm, so 
I've pretty much bought everything I need for my farm already. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and buy some more stuff because why not? I got a bunch of points. <laughs> so anyways, guys, uh, there's one more thing I want to show you here. In the level three store at the bottom, there's something called the store goods favoring. This costs you 16,000 points, but it makes life a little easier in the farm uh, item section. So go over to the item section. You see at the top here, it says unsticked when I click that or stuck. That's because that by unlocking that for 16,000 points, you unlock this feature. You can scroll through the items and choose what you want to be stuck at the top, right? And if I didn't have this, when I would log into my store, I'd have to, if I wanted uh, experience, for example, I'd have to scroll all the way to the bottom to find the 5,000 liter experience. But if I have this stuck to the top by you know unlocking that feature, every time I go into my garden store, this stuff's gonna be at the top. I don't gotta scroll all the way down. The things I wanna buy will be at the top here. So definitely check that out, guys. It's a good feature that the plantation store offers as well uh, under the exclusive booth section. So with that being said, guys, I've gone over a couple little tips and tricks for the garden itself. And I've shown you some stuff in the item store, the garden store that maybe you didn't know about. Um, the exclusive boost is definitely something that you should be looking into and stacking up points to unlock things in there, guys. Um, all right. That's all I got for you on this video, guys. I hope it helped you out. You guys take care. Be easy. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.